Transmission commencing. Stand by. Hello friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you the amazing capabilities of Google Translate that are kind of hidden in a way and that I just recently discovered. Not only Google Translate is free and you can download it from your App Store and I'm just going to go ahead and open it here. I have it right here. Not only can it help you to translate from any language to any language uh, by just uh, typing here in the touch to type uh, area. But the coolest thing is that little camera icon that you see here. Not only you can talk to it to translate, you can write with your finger or you can take a picture and translate something. Now I thought this was not going to work so well until I tested it and I'm really excited by what I discovered. In fact, that's why I'm making this video right after I tried it for a few minutes. So. For example, let's translate something from Spanish to English. So I'm going to select the language here. I'm going to select Spanish. And English is already selected here. Okay. And then I'm going to tap on the camera icon. This enables the camera. And now I have a book here. It's the only book I could find in Spanish. But now check this out. The text, the original text, it's in Spanish. But Google Translate is doing a real-time translation and it's pretty accurate, you know, it's, it's very good and it's in real time and it's transforming the, the words from Spanish to English with the same, practically the same or very similar font and uh, replacing the ones that are on the book. It's almost like magic. And you can see how it works here. So you could really read something in a different language. In this case it's in Spanish but it will work for other languages too. So it's amazing. It's in real time, a real time OCR translation of text. And it's it's unbelievable. Let me just open one of these pages and, and see how it does it for normal text. It's of course when when you are you know reading a book it's a little harder for the application because the, the font that it uses to translate is bigger, but still it works pretty good. It's, it's, it's an amazing feature. Now, I decided to try this for more uh, uh, challenging languages like uh, Asian languages. And for Asian languages, it doesn't really work in real time. And depending on the language that you choose, it will have different effects or different levels of success. Now, I'm going to start with Japanese, a very uh, popular language. So I'm going to switch from Spanish to Japanese. And I'm going to leave English. And now I'm going to press the camera icon. OK, so once you press that button to access the camera, then you can point it towards whatever you want to translate. In this case, it's a bag of something that I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it's a Japanese. and says made in Japan and if I turn around the package I see a lot of Japanese writings which is what I'm going to try to translate so as you notice uh, it doesn't do the real-time translation in Japanese or I also tried it in Chinese and it's the same thing it doesn't translate in real time certain languages uh, I, I'm like the more complicated Japanese or Chinese uh, so but what you could do is take a picture of what you want to translate and take it from there. So I'm going to try to translate some of this uh, first paragraph here. So I'm going to point the phone so it, you know, it doesn't show the other letters that I don't want to be in there. And once I do that, I'm just going to press on the red camera button. I'm taking the picture. The app is scanning, and you see it did a pretty good job recognizing all the characters that. And when it does recognize a character, it puts it in. A rectangle, a white rectangle. So after that, you can either translate word by word by highlighting the word with your finger, or the easiest thing to do is just to tap on that uh, rec uh, that square on the bottom. So I'm going to do that. I get a preview on the top that I can expand, tapping on the blue arrow. And here it tells me uh, what it says. It says uh, this bag uses a friendly, film-friendly environment. Half of components will never be generated during incineration. So it did a pretty good, at least a decent job translating Japanese that otherwise will be completely uh, foreign, at least to non-Japanese speakers. It's an amazing app. It really looks like magic. And 
it's uh, that hidden feature is it's kind of small so it's very easy to miss and uh, I strongly recommend that you check it out well guys if you like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'm looking forward for your comments and thank you for your support